please share with us your 100 word recap of all the trouble we got into so last i recall we had attempted to try and take a rest in the uh, room that the uh, character icons are in there we attempted twice and kept getting interrupted because taking a rest inside a dungeon is always smart right I think that was two, three weeks ago. I think you missed a session. Yeah. I think we the last thing we did was we killed the, we killed the uh, the patrol in the courtyard underneath the tree. Red was yep, like that in right. the razor we tree. The, we killed, killed the giant. That was the that was the no the the rest the the attempted resting was the first the our first set part of the session. Then the then that was the back half of that last session. Yeah, when you wrote, came out of your rest in the tower and came out, the giant zombie had been resurrecting, and they were patrolling the courtyard with the with giants. the dog thingies. And we were yeah. going to try and like I don't know, like, dis like dismember the the, zo- the giant zombie. I don't know. We were and that was going to take like way more time than we actually have, so we should probably not do that. <laughs> So, does anybody know how, like, zombies work? Like, if you just pluck out their eyes, can they see? Like... I mean, their eyes are, like, rotting, right? So, presumably, they're not using them already. Zombies are the original comeback story. Jesus. Are they? <laughs> you No, you're right. Zombie Jesus. I heard that one. So, is that what the G stands for? Death. <laughs> <laughs> McDill, do you, would you like to remind these jabronis what your current quest is in this dungeon? I, I, I'm, I'm leaving. Apparently they don't care. <laughs> that, the comeback joke is too strong. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you did receive a quest from an actual NPC quest giver in this dungeon. Yes. Yes, that did happen. We were supposed to... We were supposed to prove our worth as... As thieves and murderers, I believe, mm-hmm. by taking something, something from the treasury in this area, and we believe that it is back behind this door that we have mar- that we have exposed right there. But there's apparently also some kind of magical coercion trap behind it that the, that the uh, bear man that lives in this room said. And it's basically a coin flip at this point of whether or not the, uh, whether or not, uh, uh, north leads to certain doom or west leads to certain doom, I believe. Is the... But we do have a few other doors, I think, to check. I think this one and this one. This one, I believe, Dessel said was bad news, had some kind of magical yeah, trap. Yeah, there was some it. magical trap on that. And I don't think we've even taken a look at this one yet. Or this one. So we have options down here in this basement. My, yeah. I'm guessing that's where we decided to go. That's, that's where we decided to go next. Was, oh, yeah. right. And I remember Birdie kept trapping the staircase. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was when we were trying to take a rest here, and that wasn't working, so... Listen. I don't know, it worked out okay. <laughs> <laughs> kept shooting those dragonborn. Like, listen, there might have been Benny Hill music involved. Please don't. Okay. Okay, but, so what's next? I guess we start taking a, a more thorough look around this basement then. So Swords and skulls are going off the cliff. <laughs> Noble keeps saying that, but he never actually puts up. I have already sent some swords over that cliff. It's the waste of swords, if you ask me. I mean... He's not wrong. Low quality swords. I have enough. <laughs> like low quality swords or just swords in general? Oh, my swords. So are great. use the command <laughs> word here to open this door. Okay, and it opens up out into the hallway. Step what is Adrix's uh, light source? Nice. Yeah, his frame more. Okay. It's not that big, buddy. It's as big as you want. <laughs> I wish. Adric shrinks himself down to make his Feymor look bigger. <laughs> is uh, is I believe this room was illuminated up here, further up this way. 
Uh, some well, some of these pillars had illumination around them, and you broke two of them, and it began to yeah. seep out into the room. Is there still some seepage? No, but this time the pillars that you've broken have become dim. Are the other pillars glowing enough for Adrix to have sight? No, it was it was always dim light to barely got dim it. light to uh, begin with. Got it. Got it. Got it. Stack up on this or take a look at this one because I don't think we ever actually took a solid look at this one. So Red, like I know you don't like slaves, slavery, mm -hmm. and all that. How do you? How does like bringing somebody up into undeath? How does that rank? rank on your like dislike of slavery i'll stay back here in order to listen at the hallway you guys can go ahead you know i've never thought about it before what do we know what a undead actually is is it just like a body with no mind or is it like a soul trapped in eternal torment i don't know you're the magic expert I... hey rosie what's it like being dead <laughs> indescribable huh it's not helpful i think i might not like it Maybe we could ask. There's a necromancer over there. You could ask him. Okay. Razu impatiently gestures to this door that she's standing next to. You've already checked this door, right? I remember you doing that. I'm going to see if the door is locked. It is not. Okay. Well, uh, Birdie's going to just push it open. Okay. In fact, I'm going to play it safe and just copy paste this thing in. Love it. Love playing it safe. Sense. Some next level, next level fog or war strats. And it opens into what looks to be an empty chamber, with a stone archway leading to another room just beyond. Rosu steps in. She's relying on her dark vision right now. Okay. Continuing north. Yeah. Razu, as you enter this back chamber, though, you notice the room becomes noticeably warmer. Uh, this is very striking because this whole place is freezing or below thereabouts. Actually, I didn't get this door over here. So you should be seeing a door in the north, a door in the south, and then the path continuing on to the north there. And as you See, step into this yeah, room, it becomes yeah. considerably warmer, just the ambient air in this place. Uh, and the warmth seems to be emanating from this south door. The further east you go in this chamber, the warmer it gets. Your immediate thought is that this might be the most inviting room you found that doesn't have one of those warming curtains hanging in it. Although the source of the warmth seems to be much stronger than those. Yeah, Razu looks to the others and says it gets warmer further in here. Starts walking forward. It's looking down this hallway. Looking... This door here, that Red's standing next to, looks pretty much like the typical doors in the rest of the complex the door to the south it's the same size and it looks like at one point it may have been made of the same material but the door has been decorated at some point to look much more ornate and many pieces of it have are covered with opaque glass that makes bizarre abstract patterns staring at it you do have a source of light, so you can see all different kinds of colors of glass mingling and swirling about in this door. It's mesmerizing to look at, but the glass is not transparent. You can't see on the other side of it. But you can't see all you also can't see any discernible pattern. If this is the kind of door, it's almost like a magic eye painting. If you were to see it out of the corner of your eye, it would trick your brain into thinking you're seeing a shape or an image. But when you look directly at it, all of the images scatter, and you're just looking at essentially glass static. So I got a 22 on searching that door for traps to investigate. No, this looks like a pretty standard door in the complex. In fact, also, the handle on it moves freely. 
So up the hallway or through that door? And another 22. On the other door. Okay. And yeah, the handle on this one moves as well. It's just very distracting as you're checking for traps on this door, going over your, your routine with your little wires and your pliers and whatever else you use. Rogue's intuition. Because your eyes continually drift back to the stained glass patterns. Mm-hmm. They're just something very bizarre about them. Even as you find them beautiful, they're still unsettling, even though they don't show any sort of imagery. The way your eyes just continually get drawn to them. Wendy, you are completely immune to this effect. So they don't seem... Like, it, do, it just seems like glass to me? Yeah. Okay. It just seems like glass to everybody. It's Sounds like glass? Yeah, when you wrap your knuckle against it, very thick glass and smoked so as to be opaque. You can't, cannot see through it. Even when Adrix comes near and holds the Faymor up, you cannot illuminate the room beyond. Shall we look up this way first? Sure. Okay. <clears throat> going up this way, you reveal a hallway going off to this direction. A couple more doorways at the end of the hall. Type here. Yeah, I'm just making notes. I can never remember this stuff. <laughs> We'll turn the corner here. Okay. And as you exit the room and start heading over towards this door here, the warmth fades behind you. You're leaving this center of warmth. And the cold embrace of the walls resumes. You should be seeing a doorway at the north end of this hallway as well. Yeah, I see that. Okay. Raza turns the corner here and starts looking down this hallway. And you see these three doors. There's one here, one here, and one here. Oh, there, there's one over here? Question yeah, mark? one here. Okay, it's not, I didn't see that. So, Birdie whispers to Adrix, Isn't Razu like, almost dead again? Why is she in front? She loves dying. She Do you want to stop her? Does Razu hear that? <laughs> I mean, I whispered it. I didn't mean to pick you up. I apologize. I whispered it. How nosy is Razu? <laughs> <laughs> well, pick a doors. Which do you want, Adrix? Which Which one tickles your fancy? The ones that aren't trapped tickle my fancy. I got it. Hold on. Red. Hold on. Razu nods. Fair answer. This door. It's red and birdie. Hmm? L listen. The shiniest door we should open first. Yeah. It is the shiniest door. I can't argue with his logic, especially because I don't know if he's right. Listen. <laughs> I'm a kobold. Don't worry. He'll be fine. And Birdie just pushes the door open. Opening it up? Yeah. I'm a professional kobold. Okay. Kobold you is a class. Into a fairly large chamber. Looks good. The heat source in this room uh, becomes apparent when you get to the back of the room here. There's a large, well-stoked fire pit, blazing hot with white and orange flames. In the center of the room, there's a square tile cut out from the floor, and... It doesn't seem to be a pit. There's something in it, but it's difficult to see what from the doorway. It's not a hole. It's not waving like liquid. It's, it's probably not water. Uh, but it's difficult to see what it is from the doorway of actually going in and looking down. You have a small stone uh, border around 
this square pit in the floor. Not a border like that would stop you from falling in if it were a hole. It's just like ankle high. It's just like the uh, the stones you would use to border a walkway on the side of your driveway or something. And looking along the wall of the room here is an immense collection of glazier's tools. All along this corner of the room over here, in stacks and shelves, are beautiful glass-blown objects of all different kinds. Glass orbs and decanters uh, of all different colors and varieties. And this is definitely where the heat is coming from. In the back of the room here, you see an open archway leading into a hall and going up some stairs. There's some stairs. Okay. Like, what kind of glass works are they? Are we talking just, like, bottles or, like, like little tiny swans and stuff? All different things. Some of it looks utilitarian, like it looks... Like you would make a glass decanter in which to keep wine, glass bowls, and other kinds of flatware. Uh, you do see little trinkets, uh, little baubles made of different kinds of colored glass, larger pieces of art objects. There's many, many types of things. Roll an investigation check. What the hell do you suppose this room is doing in this castle? That's a nine. That's a nine? Everyone's got to have a hobby. Very beautiful objects in some cases, but also just... A little bit perplexing. It's like Adric says, why would this stuff be in this room? Like what what does what use do these people have for a glaciers? I don't know, well, but like it seems very distinctive. Like for Bernie. example, something we could bring back to prove we were here. Birdie is like, yes, this is very, very as he's like just shoving isn't... small trinkets in his pockets. But this like, isn't yes, a uh... This isn't a. This isn't the treasury. Obviously, there. Like, this is all very pretty things, but they're not of particular value. Probably not very valuable. No. That's uh, not stopping Bertie from looking toward the stairs. Okay, the stairs head upwards. And can I make an Arcana check on some of the trinkets? As you look up the stairs towards the end of your vision. They end after about 20 feet into a hallway lined with pillars, the likes of which you've seen. Similar to the ones back in this room? Yes, sir. Adrix, make an investigation check. Investigation. All right. I love investigating. This is Adrix. <laughs> Actually, Adrix, you can make this check at advantage. Oh. Nobody else will be allowed to, because nobody else oh. is as cool as Adrix. That's yeah. 14. 14. You find a couple of objects. Uh, you find lots of objects that don't have any actual discernible shape. These are just glass blown into, like, some kind of, uh, some kind of pattern or worked into some kind of shape. This just has aesthetic value. It's not... A particular item, it's just this particular color looked nice in this kind of teardrop shape with waggly bits, or whatever the case may be. But you also find a couple of blown glass jars of just clear glass, and inside sits another glass object. And at first, your eyes kind of pass over these, because you, you're looking at an entire shelf of hundreds of these kinds of items. But coming back... Your eyes fixate on it, and you realize that your skill in medicine and your uh, expertise in taking care of wounds and being able to identify parts of bodies, they look like glass organs kept in jars. A heart, a liver, the stomach of a small animal. And these are very, I don't want to say out of place because they look just like the rest of the glass objects here, but very strange indeed. And there's a small collection of these on one or two of the shelves, not organized in any way, just kind of mixed in amongst the rest of the stuff. Huh. Huh. 
What's up, Adrix? Huh. Succinct. Well, you see these glass jars? Adrix points them out. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, everybody never gets old. Just gotta make it see, everything about you, huh, Wendy? If you look inside them, and Adrix will grab one and sort of hold it next to his framework to try and, and illuminate it. Right. And you kind of have to handle this glass jar with two hands, being care unless you don't care about being careful with it, if you're just being reckless with it. <laughs> because the object the inside is fairly <laughs> heavy, as though it's okay. more solid. It's not just an empty piece of glass. Adrix will be careful. <laughs> Had to think about it, but Adrix <laughs> will be careful. I'll hold his fame more while he does this. Mm. I have to hear Adrix sign off on that. Mm. <laughs> I don't think anybody holds the fame more with Adrix. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, fine. You just do what you're going to do then. I'm just trying to help. But Adrix will try and illuminate the glass to point out the the weird glass organ thing in the middle of it. You see that? And Razu, your only experience with organs is when you pull them out of goblins on the end of your halberd. But yeah, yeah. Adrix points out the valves and ventricles on what looks to be a heart of some creature. Very right. meticulously blown in beautiful colored glass and then put into this jar. Is it's attention to detail is great, but it's very is the unusual. Shade of glass matching, like, is it red or is it clear? Glass. The jar you're holding is perfectly transparent, right. uh, which look makes the jars look a little out of place amongst the rest of the colored glass here. The heart inside <laughs> that you're holding has many different colors to it. It looks oh. like it was blown of many different colors of glass. Red. Mm -hmm. What do you call petrification if it's turning something into glass? Uh, fulmica- fulma- 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 <laughs> Maybe they've been fulmilicated. Classification? I so do kind of like the word glassified. <laughs> I mean, I- I think the vernac- I think in most cases people just say glassed. Ooh. So- it's not beating, is it? Like, because if it's beating, we need to break it. No, it's, like that's just no. It's completely inert. Okay, all right. But it does look very fragile. Like, if Adrix were to drop this on the stone floor, it would shatter. Are there any other objects on the shelf that look like they have almost too much detail? Uh, make an investigation check. You're gonna have to make it a disadvantage though, because you can't see. That's fair. But I'll also, while I'm looking for myself, say that to Adrix. Wah, wah. Yeah, I can't see shit. But, yeah, like, is are these the only things that seem inexplicably detailed? That's the, the thing that two? jumps out to Adrix after he okay. checks. I mean, there are hundreds of objects here. It depends on how, how long like... do you want to be in this room, is what I'm asking. Looking um... at objects, looking for particular things. What are you all doing? <laughs> Ross uh, is looking up the uh, stairway, kind of, kind of with trepidation. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm very helpful here, so I might go with Razu. Okay. There's more of those weird pillars that that I cracked with the uh, beat of force earlier, and I'm I'm kind of skittish about going nearer to them. What's Birdie and Red doing in this room? Uh, I'm gonna get like a stick or something okay. if I can find one, and I'm gonna poke the pit. You have no difficulty finding a stick because next to the pit, there is. Kind of like an umbrella stand with lots of different sticks in it. And these are all rods, maybe a foot or two in length. And as you pull a couple the of them out, one of, there's one of them that's just a regular poker. The other ones all have small metal affixions on the end of them of different shapes. And looking into the pit, it's a sand pit. All different colors of sand in the center square of this pit. And the colors kind of form a very orderly rainbow, starting in one corner with the reds and going around the oranges and yellows until it meets back up at the corner again with the blues and then into a deep indigo. Going through all these uh, colors, it kind of looks like an Adobe Photoshop palette a little bit. 
on the inside of the stone, you see uh, four or five, no, four per side, 16 total, on each side of the stone pit here on the inside facing the sand little markers cut out of the stones and you realize that these markers that are cut out match the metal tips of these various rods you also see some some of these rods just have uh patterned edges brushes uh spades and swoops just to move sand around in particular ways or scoop it out but 16 in particular seem to match different shapes inside of the stone border And they were heading up the stairs? Yeah, these stairs go up. Yeah, I was just going to... Uh, two things. I was going to follow them. B, I looked up how it's pronounced. It's fulgrification. Fulgrification. Thank yeah. you. Red just whipped out his uh, his medieval smartphone. <laughs> Handy book for how words are pronounced. He looked up ye old Google. My friend's joke is the Oracle Google. <laughs> Oracle Google. It's pretty good. Yeah, that makes sense. That's almost as bad as the God of Puzzles thing. Razu, what's the status of this door, by the way? I don't think we ever made it a point to close doors behind yeah. us. Okay, so it's still no. open. It is an open door. So Razu shifts close to the below stage and says, "Can you lead the way?" Absolutely. 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 Can we not go up the path with the evil like? Death pillars. Let's see. Oh, but yeah. if we're not going to go where there's evil death pillars, we're not going to be making it very far. <laughs> Hello, death pillars. Are you I mean, active? Should Adrian, we be what's your passive perception? <laughs> it's eleven. Eleven. What's Razu's? Eleven. Okay. And you're going up. Yeah. You get to the top of the stairs and you find this hallway that yeah is lined by pillars, the likes of which you've seen, as I've said. Hello, evil pillars. Are you going to be annoying? They don't do anything as you enter the area. No reply, huh? Very well. Keep moving forward. Okay. What are Red and Birdie's passive perception? Minus five. Uh, minus five. Red's passive perception is a 19. 19? Birdie? Uh, 18. As you guys begin joining your companions in this hallway coming up the stairs looking at the wall where the walls of the hallway meet the edge of the stairs the stonework looks off to you it looks cracked it looks more broken than the rest of the stone walls and you see hey, when you want to take a up. take a feel at this I'll head back over to the walk over here. Make a wisdom mortar or uh, masonry masonry tools check. Thank you. You got it. That is a twenty six. The damage done to the stone here, and it's only the last few inches right in front of the floor, maybe ankle deep, so well over Birdie's head. He's real short. Got it. The last few inches, the kind of the type of damage done to the stonework here was done with below freezing temperatures, extreme exposure, long term exposure to sub freezing water, super frozen water. Uh, and are you trained in nature? Trained in nature? No, yeah, no. So your immediate thought is that this kind of damage should not really be possible to stone because any water that is cold enough to cause this kind of fracturing would also be solid ice. It wouldn't be flowing against the stone. It wouldn't be able to cause any kind of uh, frictional damage. So it's very perplexing, but it's the combination of cold and liquid over long periods of time can do this sort of damage. But this sort of damage should not be possible. I'll say that to Red and uh, Birdie. You know, see, Birdie, is that some sort of magic thing? Like really cold stuff that's still liquid? I mean, I point at the pillars and go, 
doesn't didn't cold mist come out of the other pillars? Yeah, but that was more of a mist. The cold mist came out of the dragonborn you were fighting. The pillars were just recharging their breath weapons. Oh, okay. I mean, maybe there was like an underground river here that yeah, was I don't, somehow charged. I don't think I've ever cold. been hit with magical cold. <laughs> But as you continue up the passage, you see the same kind of damage is done to all the walls and the base of the pillars all the way through this hallway. Which so, ends at this door. And it ends at the bottom of these stairs? No, you go up. These stairs go up. The stairs right. end here. Or you mean the damage to the hall? Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, it would end at the base of these stairs. Does it just stop abruptly, or does it kind of look like it kind of peters out? Looks like it stops abruptly. So, maybe the workshop's immune to magical cold. Either that, or maybe whatever liquid only got so high and couldn't make it all the way up the stairs. Possible. So, you know what this hallway reminds me of? Hmm. Like, I don't know. A kill zone? Yeah, I mean... let me... Hey, Adrix, hold up. <laughs> uh, I'd like to inspect the floor as well as the dwarf traps before I approach this thing. Looking at the floor, you see the same kind of damage done to most of the floor that Wendy has pointed out. Uh, I'm looking for, like, pressure plates or any other kind of triggers. I got a... Uh... Uh, tw- 26. No, you find nothing of the sort. Other than the damage to... done by the cold, it looks pretty looks pretty solid. Check to see if something's going to flow out of that door. Yeah, I want to check the door itself for traps. Uh, it's a 25. The door itself looks identical to the rest of the doors you've seen in the place. The metal ring moves freely, and it doesn't feel like supernaturally cold or anything on the other side. It just feels How much rope regular. do we have? I don't know, I, a lot. I... I kind of don't like have any rope feet, left. 30, 30, 50, 50. Got 60 feet. Between us? Yeah. Alright, let's tie a rope around the handle, and let's have nobody in this chamber when we pull it. Sounds right. good to me. <laughs> no, I mean, this sounds fair. This all sounds awful. Spin <laughs> rattle slowly, you know. Coil the rope back. Bring it back to here. Hey, when hey, you're right, right, it's not a push door, right? You want to do the honors? And when you get Got that it. far back, you can feel the rope is still affixed to the metal ring, but you're standing too far away to be able to see what's happening up there. That's fine. Adrix yanks on the rope. And you feel the door come open. And Adrix falls flat on his face because he used too much strength. <laughs> and now you're facing the bottom stair. <laughs> Are we all dead? Not yet. Not yet. Jinx, you owe me an ale. Listen. Rosie <laughs> heads up the, back up the stairs. I do have to point out, though, please bear with me today because I had to. I, I got a new laptop since we played last, which means I have a different version of Photoshop installed on it now. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh no. And everything's different. <laughs> Therefore, it's terrible. It's a little like terrible, change. not gonna lie. I, I go to I file, I no open. longer have my save for web and devices option, and it's really throwing me off. I, I have Rosary. heard that they move the buttons in yeah. every new version. Coming up. Opens up into the base of a tower. I'm going to respool the rope. Put it back similar, to the, uh, similar to the towers that are, the, the satellite towers that have been. Similar to every tower you've explored the base of. <laughs> Raza will look at this and consider, hmm. Well, must one not be too far down to uh, below the, uh, the, I guess the the obscurement below the uh, over the uh, at the uh, edge of the uh, the former lake. Was there? Was there? Remind me if there was weird mist outside, like where the lake used to be. Uh, yes. In fact, there was no liquid as far down in the chasm as you could see. It just frozen mists. I wonder if maybe that stone damage is just a side effect of the mist. There's no mist in this tower or in this hallway, though. Right. You say that, but listen. If Jake. I were in charge of trapping this hall, there would be arrows flying just like... 
You were saying that one guy was lying about how he got in, right? Maybe this is it? Maybe this could be it, yeah. I mean, if I were in charge of tra trapping this hall, I'd probably have a slip needle that you hopefully wouldn't even notice until you're already dead. Listen, so... when you're doing traps, you gotta go big or you gotta go home. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. Razor <laughs> sighs and looks up the uh, looks up the stairs. Probably going to have two of those cloak things further up. If the pattern is to be uh, is to hold. So I'll, I'll, I'll be quite I'll be quite frank. I am in no mood to to, to lead the way. Is is this these stairs go up right? They do indeed. Okay. All if right. I was in charge of trapping this hall, I would just make it a tower that you couldn't reach except by flying. <laughs> Alright, if I'm leading the party, I want all of us to conga our way up. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we've I given up on trying to guess the command words. Like, that's over? I was about to suggest thing, actually. <laughs> Try thing, Adrix. Conga? So, yes. Adrix, you're going up the stairs? Hell. Yep. Okay. Wait, how can we guess the command words if we're not near the thing? Let me save the basement here. Guess. Did we try guess? Yes. It's probably yeah. some some weird dog demon like slur, racial slur or something. I don't know. Not everything's a racial slur, Brady. Who doesn't love racial slurs? And you come up the stairs into room number 12. Adrix, you come up first. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, coming up here. And that's initiative. Alrighty. Go ahead and roll them to our initiative. I would love to. Oh god. Tables are... Well. Oh god. There's a... <laughs> I don't need to move. Death. I'm good oh. down here. There's a good Razu <laughs> initiative right there. Not on my... Uh, Razu's always here to make me feel better about myself. <laughs> Glad I could be in service, Nodal. Adrix is conganging with his Feymore out. That's terrible. Man, I have, a, I have a dex of plus four, and I still landed on this five, so... I, I've, I've reiterated this many times. Razu has a dex penalty. Yeah, but, like, li like... The law of averages state that at some point you should end up above the 10 mark. No, never. Refuse. Actually, the law of a averages are a fickle mistress. <laughs> it's like the laws of probability. It's more of an art of... Uh, so these guys did have a held action to fire really? when people came up the stairs. But Rosie really? specifically said, hey, there's going to be two of these, held these, these cloaked archers up there. So they, you are not surprised, Adrix, when you poke your head up the stairs and you do, in fact, see two cloaked archers ready to fire. Right, They're still going to fire at you before you get a chance to move because they beat your initiative. But, Bertie, you go first. Yeah, what else? All right. Uh, well, I'm going to just go past him, mm -hmm. and I'm going to stab this guy. Very good. With my dragon. Uh, does a... 24 hit? 24 will hit. Alright. That is... 8 piercing, 2 cold. And then offhand attack. Okay. And... Do we all get advantage on him now? Is that how that works? Yeah, on that specific yep. one. So now... I'm going to put a big A on him, so I remember. 27? 27 will hit. Alright. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to do this instead. This is uh, a short sword. Non-magic. 1, 2, 3, okay. 4, 6, 7, 8. That is 25. No, not 25. It's just 20. You don't add the extra there. So 20 damage. And then I'm going to... Uh, Scamper. I'm going to get out of his... Uh, I'm going to leave his threat range and then go back down the stairs and scamper away. Disengaging? 
No, you I can't. use my bonus action to stab him. So he is going to take a swing at you. Yeah, that's why. Well, don't let him. Why wouldn't he? How does a nine do? No. So he makes a clumsy swing with his longbow. And you manage to evade him. And now they're both going to shoot Adrix. No, my beautiful face. And neither of them have needed to use a bonus action yet. I love Adrix's face. So I'm going to describe a problem that I'm going to have with this laptop. I haven't had it yet, but I know I'm going to have it. Okay. Yeah. On my old laptop, the power button was like a special button up above the keyboard that you couldn't hit accidentally. <laughs> On this laptop, the power button is just a regular keyboard button in the top right corner of the keyboard, which is the exact place the end key used to be on my laptop. Oh, no. So, I'm going to turn oh, my laptop off accidentally at some point, and we're all going to have a are. jolly good laugh. Adrix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you take a knife and you pry that button out of the hole. Well, no, I still want to turn the laptop off at some point. It was shut oh, down in the start menu. Nice. Adrix, I have yep. a 16 to hit. Yeah, it hits. And I have a 19 to hit. Mm hmm. And I've got a 13. No. No. And I've got a 24. Yes. Okay, and they can both use their bonus action against you, which is something that makes me very happy. Uh, no. Well, you just, just disagree? That's a, my new fighter skill. I just say no. Just say no. Nah. I don't allow yeah. it. You don't have to stand for it. We're both leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I say nah as a nah action. <laughs> 12 points from the first arrow. Oh. 10 points piercing from the second arrow. Mm. Third arrow goes wide. Ooh, that's a good one. 17 from the third arrow that connects. That is damage as they both loose their arrows at you and they could both get up these stairs without you don't have a 10 foot reach with your famor do you oh they definitely don't all right then they're both going to float upstairs very swiftly rude hmm that's going to bring us to adrix i do believe I'm looking at it this way, Rosie. At least you're not negative. They ran away, huh? She can be pretty negative sometimes. They ran away. You saw them fly up out. the stairs. They floated away. Well, Adrix is the kind of guy to give chase. So, one, two, three. Okay. Let me save this floor. And load this one. At work, my hub that I plug everything into, the entire top of it is a power button. <laughs> so I just have this enormous block on my desk that if anyone barely nudges it, my computer turns off. That's terrible. <laughs> it's really bad. Okay. And Adrix, you enter into this room here. I still don't see him, huh? No, when you come up into this floor, you do not see them. Keep going. Oh, come on, guys. Really? <laughs> Adrix continues to sprint upwards. Uh, it was the, I think he could probably do four, five, six. I'm looking up the stairs into the next room. You don't see them at the top of these stairs either. Uh, Adrix will hold an act. Okay. If they're nowhere to be As soon as they enter Adrix's threat range mm -hmm. with his Famor, you're going to stab him in the face. Very good. I need to actually get the initiative table on here. So we're going to save Shit. floor two. And I'm just going to cut paste the whole board. How's that sound? Yeah. Sounds oh, wow. thing. It happened. Get 
get some of these dice out of the way so I don't accidentally knock everybody off the table. Get these dice out of here. <laughs> and I know Razu was a zero, so everybody should be perfectly lined up right about there. That looks about right. Hey, Razu was on zero, or Razu was not a zero. So you're you're readying an action. If one of these things enters Adrix's threat range, you're going to attack. Yeah. It's going to bring us to red. Thank you for advocating for and me, Nodal. You got it. So I am shots. They're not some here. Si I'm sig some significant distance down the stairway. Mm -hmm. uh, five, ten... But, all right, so if I move 30 feet, can I get into, like, this area next to Adrix, or do I have to use that? I'm two floors down right now. 30 feet, you could probably get right up here next to Adrix. Either I don't want to be next to the wall to... or next to the stairs. Eh, actually, remember, do, do these things pop out of the wall? There are arrow loops all around the, every direction of the tower that yeah, open that's up just into the top. frosty air beyond. Uh, yeah, I'll... You know what, yeah, next... No. I'll go to here. I'll uh, ready in action. Pull out my Kraken Priest dagger and I'm going to stab the first cloaked motherfucker that's adjacent to one. Okay. It's going to bring us to Windy. Alright. I'm also going to go up the stairs. Or... Uh, and I'm going to make an active perception to see if I can hear them. Because I suspect they might be floating, flapping out one of these windows. Okay, go ahead and make that check. That is a 20. You hear the sounds of the wind whipping around the tower outside, but you don't hear the creatures themselves. And this doesn't surprise you, because up until now they've been, except for the twang of their bowstrings and the sound their eyes make when they shatter on the ground after you kill them, they've been completely silent. All right. Uh, I'll... I'm going to just check upstairs, see if I sense anything. Okay. And then if I don't, I'll head back down to here. Load up floor three here. First things first, let's get the initiative in order. Should be the same. See, I know how clipboard works. Love clipboard. My favorite. And where is a revealer? Here's one. Nice placement. And indeed, heading up into this room, both of the creatures are on this floor. All right. And I'll call that down to my companions. Say they're up here. Wait, does Wendy herself want to be on this floor? Um, no, I'll be at the, the head of the stairs on the previous floor. Okay. Top Let of the stairs, previous save floor. Save this floor here. Oh, nobody gets to use all that advantage. Sorry, I had already used mine with a perception. So you're going to be at the base of the stairs down here with Adrix, yes? Yep. Okay. That's going to bring us to Razu. Razu comes up to the comes up to this floor. And as Razu comes up the stairs, I'll reiterate the two of them are up on the next floor. Adrix, how wounded are you? Uh, I'm fine. You seem to be in worse shape. Okay. Razu will dodge at this point at this spot. Okay. And Birdie. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll just run up to join everybody, I guess. Uh, You're over here? Whoa. Uh, yeah, just put me right here. This works fine. All right, and then my creatures. And I'll hold an action to shoot an arrow at them as soon as they show up. <sighs> that should be fine. One this of them fine. whips in through this murder hole, and the other one through this one. Uh, so, Bertie, you can go ahead and 
Well, let's resolve the held actions in order. Adrix had one. Yes, he did. When this one enters in through the window. That is a 20 to hit. That'll hit. That will hit. Four. Well, that was right. Wow. That's what I get for it. That is... No, this is completely wrong. Don't. <laughs> this is wrong. <laughs> It's been a while. That is nine I mean, I know you not used to hitting. How much damage? Nine fire and seven piercing. Still wouldn't call it wrong. <laughs> okay. And Razu's dodging. Yep. Red, you have a held action. That Which can... one came in first? Oh, this is the only one I can reach. So. Yeah, you can only reach this one. Uh, that'll hit an armor class of 14. 14 does not do it. Precise attack? 16. 16 will hit. Well, so I'm going to craft the die and 76 plus. For uh, 28 piercing damage breaking. And Birdie, you also have a held action, but you're rolling at. Uh, you're rolling at disadvantage, I think, because he came in. You're five feet away from him. Yeah, okay. Fourteen. You clumsily fire an arrow at the base of the stairs. Uh, I probably do have to kill Red here because that's quite a lot. Uh, of damage. Well, we'll miss you, Red. But he had to do it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Moral obligation, really. Probably. He's Red, I got a twenty-five to hit. That's yes. And a thirteen. That's no. The good news is they were going to be using their bonus actions afterwards, so. Eight points of piercing damage from this man's arrow. And this one can't fire at red because they're at point blank range. In fact, he can only fire at Razu, so let's do that. Please roll a disadvantage. I did, don't worry. I have an 11 to hit. No. And a 17 to hit. That's also no. And the two arrows clatter against the back wall. The creatures then disengage out through the windows again. Uh, can I sentinel that? Do you have a reaction? I do have a reaction. Well, then, it sounds like a thing you can do. By all means, then. Uh, let's see. Hiya. How does a... 25 do? That'll hit. How does a 25 do? Take that, and we'll take... Everyone always asks... Spell charge. How does? No one ever asks. How is a 25? <laughs> what does a 25 do on its time off? Uh, it's 8 slashing, 4 cold, and a nice 14 thunder damage. Alright, roll some percentile dice. I need two pairs of percentile dice. Uh, 20,000 and 80,000. Metal is tens. Mm, 53. And 31. And one of the thing's eyes, the obsidian orbs, shatters when it hits the ground, but the other one remains. Cool. And that's going to bring us to Adrix, your turn. They vanished again, out. huh? They swooped out of the window. Out of the arrow loop, rather. But one of them's dead. One well, of them let's is go very upstairs dead. and see what happens. Heading upstairs? Yeah. 
This either went up or down. Floor so. two. Yeah. This is floor two, yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. The big old Spanish two right there. <laughs> so There's a Spanish the... two and a regular two. Spelling, mostly. Okay. Adrix, you come up the stairs into 21 over here. No one? <laughs> nope, it's empty. Uh It's 15 hey. feet of movement to come up the stairs. All of my hatred. All of it. Just all, all of my hatred. <laughs> what am I talking about? This is Andrix. Andrix is very excited by all this. Um, yeah, I like, refuse I... to believe that Andrix is, can be, is capable of hatred. Uh, where? Andrix is like, it's combat hide and seek. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on you guys. I love hide and seek. <laughs> and that's 30. So you're going up. You're getting to the stairs to go up to the floor after this. Which is the top, floor, right? With all the ballista. Uh, yeah, the floor above this would be the roof, you imagine. Okay. In fact, you can uh, see same from thing. here. Hold an action and get my stabby on if he shows up. Okay. It's going to bring us to red. He's not up here. Unless he's on the roof. Um... Let's see. Wait, is, this isn't the... I'm not over here. I'm on the floor below. Right, you're on this the floor is... below him here in 20... And they went out through the arrow slits? Yeah, they f have been flying in and out of the arrow slits. This is their kind of main mode of attack, is they fly into an arrow slit and let the arrows loose and then get back out if there's no safe place for them to be. All right, let's uh, let's follow Adrix up here. Okay. Let's see. So. Uh... Take care you don't get shot at by the other towers. I'm on the roof. Let's go to there. Okay. And yeah, let's ready that action again that as soon as one of these guys is adjacent to somebody, I'm going to stab them. Adjacent to who? Someone who isn't an ally. Right, but who in particular? Like, who are you watching? Uh, to specify that. Only the one person here. Like, I always... Yeah, but... Other people might come up the stairs later. As Are soon you... as somebody in a position I can sneak attack, stab them. Like, it's, it has to be within five feet of me, because I just have a dagger. Right. But which ally is what I'm asking? Adrix. Adrix, okay. And that's going to bring us to... Wendy. Alright. I'm going to come up the stairs. 15 feet. Uh, 25, 30, don't bother... Because <laughs> uh, I'm going to check on the roof. You're going to check on the roof. Okay, this is floor three, yes? Yeah. You guys have been very helpful in making sure that I keep track of these floors. Because when I'm zoomed way in on the map, they pretty much look identical. So. It's fair. And first of all, let me move all this stuff out of the way. And we can delete. Wow. At some point, Birdie had a 30 in his initiative total what a boss oh that's the only he's the only person on initiative i guess there you go okay uh, Wendy, i have now. good slash bad news okay there is in fact a cloaked creature up here uh you have pretty much your full vision up here because you're out in the open air again uh -huh. and this particular ballista i do not believe has been disabled at all not yet so yeah you come <laughs> up out here onto the roof And I am going to. Is the guy standing at the ballista like he's going to fire it? He looks like he could. He certainly could be ready to fire it. All right, I'm going to attempt to. What way is the ballista pointing right now? Towards the keep. So like here. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to attempt to break the ballista into that position okay you're going to have to make a saving throw here in a second you got it i don't know exactly what kind it's in my notes here a banana saving throw a banana saving throw that doesn't make any sense love banana saves a dexterity saving throw oh i'm sorry no you do not get to make the saving throw that's my mistake okay this is, this is no save Save versus rod, stave or banana. Uh, 
This might actually hurt, Wendy. Eh. For for once. I don't own enough D6s. I don't believe that. <laughs> You're actually right. I mean, I have a whole thing of dice in the other room that I don't even open usually. Uh-huh. <laughs> We went to Dragon Con two years in a row, and my wife just bought the big scoop of dice, like the pound of dice. Two years in a row, she did this. <laughs> I remember because I used them. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to visit you one of these days and just open up a door, and it's just going to be dice pouring out. <laughs> uh, that wasn't as bad as it could have been, I don't think. Uh, Windy. Yeah. 47 points of lightning damage, and you are stunned. Okay. As you go to break this ballista, you're not exactly sure what the creature does. But as you move to break the mechanism to keep the ballista from being able to turn, all of the electrical energy inside of the ballista discharges all at once. It's as though the thing fired its entire payload in one brilliant blast. Unfortunately, none of your companions are on the roof to see, because it would have been quite a spectacle of crackling lights across the mists surrounding the tower. That's life. And that uses up all of this thing's charges. Let me make sure I delete those. And you will be stunned forever for four rounds however <laughs> okay uh roll two sets of percentile dice okay oh <laughs> 62 okay 36 and you hear a soft clank sound and a shattering sound next to you <laughs> as the electrical discharge dies away i got him and after a few moments you feel you, uh, you feel the tingliness in your bones and in your muscles subside as the stun wears off we can come off initiative now <laughs> i think they're wise Wendy, to our... you okay up there Got him! <laughs> Is that really haltingly? It's, hey, I was told it was war off. Yeah, we came off of combat, so the last those four rounds of stun didn't end up mattering. Oh. Well, that was fun. I say we had... Uh, oh yeah, Wendy probably got jacked up, didn't she? She looks I'm mostly fairly fine. smoked. What would Windy say to what would Windy say to fifteen points of healing? I mean, I'll take it. I ain't leaving it on the table. Coming up to the top of the tower though, you do have a commanding and beautiful view of uh the the curtain wall around the keep. Um as well as this tower here, and you can even see far off in the distance the edge of the cliff that you had crossed when you first approached the keep. Can you guys see any more of those um, cloaked creatures on that tower over there? Can I? I may be hiding inside the tower. You don't see any. Uh, you're not going to be able to see the actual roof of the keep from here. And you can't actually see like down onto the curtain wall because the tower you're standing on is of the same height as the curtain wall is. But you don't see any movement when you look out at this tower or at the towers on the curtain wall itself. Okay, right, I'm thinking inside. Well, I was thinking because I'll turn this one. There's no reason to believe this thing can't get reduced. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna break it facing in this direction. Okay. Can, and and... Bertie, when you get to the top of the roof, or Adrix, I guess I want one of you to make an Arcana check. Okay, uh, that is a plus 13. 